see one interesting question based on Markov process. Here is a question. Traveling salesman sales in three cities. Three cities are there. A, B, C. He never sells in the same city. So directly you can form the TPM. Here it is. This denotes the present state. Okay. And this denotes the future state. This is based on the Markov process. As you know in Markov process, it basically depends on the present state. Only on the present state. Okay. So, he never sells in the same city. That means, if the person, salesman is selling in A city, tomorrow he won't be selling in the same city. Therefore, this is 0. B, B, 0. C, C, 0. This is present. This is future. Consider this as today. This as tomorrow. That's it. If the salesman, that means he, sells in city A on a day, then the next day he sells in city B. So suppose he, sit, uh, he sells in city A, next day he will be sit, uh, like selling in city B. So this will be 1, rest will be 0. Why this is 0? Because here I have got as 1. 0 plus 1 plus 0 will give me as 1. Always remember the element sum should be what? 1 in each row. Now here, however, if he sells in either B or C, then the next day he is twice as likely to sell in city A as in other city. Find TPM. How often does so the thing is that here till here we have to find the rest of the elements of the TPM. So this is quite interesting question. Why? Because here we have found a new statement. However, if he sells in either B or C, so if he's selling out B or C, then the next day is, is twice as likely. The main thing here is that, according to the question, we can say, if he is moving from B to C, suppose. So, I will cancel out this thing. B to C. Okay. If he is moving from city B to C, the probability will be what? X. I will consider it, it as X. And from B to A, the probability will be 2x it's the meaning of this statement you can read it again that if he sells in b either b or c then the next day is as twice as likely to sell in city a so the meaning here it is that from b to c it is x b to a it is 2x b to c x and b to a 2x so i can write it as here 2x instead of 2x what i'll do so basically observe here this is zero so i'll just write it over here one is 2x one is zero one is x this is x this is zero this is 2x okay that's what i have written here now we have to understand this. that's why i'm writing here this is 2x right i have to add all these elements so that i'll get it as one correct all the elements i should get the sum as 1 so 2x plus 0 plus x will give me as 2x plus x is equal to 1 so from this x 3s is equal to 1 x will be equal to 1 by 3 correct so this will this is nothing but what x so this will be 1 by 3 this will be 2 times 2 by 3 yes or no yeah no yes and again the same thing like C A what will be the value C B what will be the value C B as we know it is 1 by 3 B C C B X value is 1 by 3 so initially it if it this is 1 by 3 this of course will be 2 by 3 because I have to add and get 1 see here 1 by 3 plus 0 plus some value should give me as 1 so this value if i have to find out this should be what 2 by 3 that's it so initially when you get the question don't get confused you have to start and read the question twice in order to understand okay we'll read the next part of the question find tpm so we have found the tpm how often does the salesman sell in city b and city c 
how often basically this means we have to go for long run we have to go for what long run but because they have not mentioned about probability right they have just said how often does the salesman sell in city b and city c if they would have asked probability then you have to go for the nth step derivation okay that a power thing now we will go for uh, we know this is a fixed probability vector vp is equal to v where p is nothing but the tpm so we will write this as 0 1 0 2 by 3 0 1 by 3 2 by 3 1 by 3 and 0 okay so this is a matrix here we have v we have taken v1 v2 v3 v1 basically denotes the city a city b and this is city c again the same thing a b and c i have taken three cities okay now i have to get the value of v1 v2 and v3 so basically i have formed the equations as you can see I have to just multiply so this row into this column first column will give me will give me the answer as v1 okay so v1 into 0 okay so I'll just do it here itself see here 0 v1 into 0 plus 2 by 3 into v2 so this will be 2 by 3 v2 plus 2 by 3 v3 will give me the first element v1 okay next the same row into the second column will give me v2 so v1 plus this 0 then 1 by 3 v3 equal to v2 now third will be this row third column third element this will be 0 v1 plus 1 by 3 v2 this will be again 0 which is equal to the third element v3 here observe v1 v2 v3 v1 v2 v3 okay so this three equations i got so i have basically written this equation over here you can see okay now the first equation i have just modified that means i have taken 3 as the lcm okay and multiplied here that's why it is 3 v1 2 v2 plus 2 v3 equal to 3 v1 and here also the same thing 3 as lcm so 3 v1 plus v3 equal to 3 v2 and the third equation also written now i have not simplified using the traditional method i have gone for the calculator directly so how to calculate in the calculator i'll just show you as i said before uh, like i will again show you mode equation thing is there press 5 in this first equation i can't take because uh, here there are three variables but in first equation it is only two so i have to go for the second equation where i have three variables so i have to give the values of the constants now observe here here it is 3v1 so i'll just rearrange this part first equation i'll rearrange minus 3v1 plus 2v2 plus 2v3 is equal to zero okay i have brought this this side second equation uh, 3v1 plus minus 3 minus 3v2 plus v3 is equal to 0 now the third equation i won't be taking this as i said before i have to include the main equation which is v1 plus v2 plus v3 which is equal to 1 this is the main equation so whenever you are going by the calculator always remember you have to that is that is another v1 plus v2 plus v3 should be always 1 so i have to this is a must equation if there are three equations i have to ignore one any of this you can ignore it doesn't matter you can take this equation and this equation and ignore this any of this you can take so you have, you have taken two equation then this is the main equation okay now you have to just put it in calculator so as you can see substitute the values so this will be minus 3 okay plus 2 plus 2 equal to 0 3 minus 3 1 equal to 0 then 1 
1 okay the third one 1 1 1 1 so press equal to you will get the answer as 2 by 5 okay 2 by 5 9 by 20 3 by 20 so as you can see here correct 2 by 5 9 by 20 and 3 by 20 okay so this is how you have to solve if suppose what happens if you go by if you take these three equations one two three then they will show you math error okay that's why i said this is the must equation you have to take now as i said this is for a b c our question was to find out uh, how often does the salesman sell in city b and city c so city b and city c i have 9 by 20 which is equal to i have converted it to percentage which is 45 3 by 20 i have converted into percentage which is 15 okay so 45 15 that's it so i have got the answer <laughs>